Hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first May I Scrap Lift You Saturday edition. So as I've mentioned to you before, Crystal and I have such a list of people that we still want to scrap lift, we thought we would keep the May I Scrap Lift You series going for a little bit on Saturdays. So here I am, exactly, exactly the same principle. Now, I don't know whether Crystal is going to continue taking from her Instagram followers or whether she's going to do something else. I, I forgot to ask her, but I'm sure she'll be telling you all about that in her video today. And her channel, um, or maybe her exact video, will, of course, be linked down below. And if you are continuing along with the series or starting with us, please make sure you tag us either he, uh, uh, over on Facebook or on Instagram or link us up to your video here in the comments. Uh, but we would love to see you continue playing along with us. So today, today I am scrap lifting the lovely and oh so talented Dorothy, Dorothy Guinan from Scrapbooking Quebec. And Dorothy is, of course, a fellow Canadian, and she is in the same province as me, only just uh, maybe about three hours away by road. So maybe one of these days when we can actually move around a bit more or see one another, because we can actually move around the province now as of last week, uh, but we pretty much still can't see anybody. So there you go. Anyway, you are going to see... Uh, Dorothy's beautiful and gorgeous layout up here in the corner and it's of her lovely little Chester. Is he not just the most adorable kitty ever? And I love that punch. I have that punch that she's using actually. So Dorothy, you're reminding me to dig it out and get it used um, a little bit. So um, of course I am using my starting points. I went in and used my starting points. So if you recall I had this piece of paper that I had put together with this one and of course the cardstock. So I definitely use that. I do definitely have enough left to probably do another layout with these scraps because then I went in to another kit that I had put aside to take this lovely paper. Out, but I still have plenty, plenty of this left to use with that original uh, starting point that I had put together. And you see here I have some circles left and uh, some actual, you know, strips. So definitely we'll be able to get another page done with the bits left over from this starting point. Now, Dorothy had two frames around the white cardstock and she just rounded her edges here on the white cardstock and I've never done that before and what a fun fun little detail it gives so of course I the back frame here is this paper I gutted the papers of course because I needed to use them the inside frame is this lovely paper then I got some white cardstock out and I got my circle dies because if you know Dorothy, which I'm sure you do, but just in case you were under a rock somewhere, I'm obviously going to put her YouTube channel down below as well as her Instagram so that you can make sure you go over and discover her. So then I went in to get my dies because Dorothy does the most amazing things with punches, dies, paper piercing. She creates many, many, and sometimes most of the embellishments, as I believe she did on the page that you are looking at up there. So I got my dies out and I did a variety of sizes from the largest um, and down about two or three sizes. This one here you will recognize, of course, of having just put the next size inside and die cutting so that I could just get this frame and I used a Nicole Jones 911 grid paper here so that I can do my journaling and this page is all about 
um, just completing getting one more page in that Italy album. If you remember when I was talking about it a week or so ago, um, when I scrap lifted Karen and did an eight and a half by 11, I mentioned that there was one more 12 by 12 page in that album that had nothing on the other side. Sometimes that doesn't bother me, but in this case, the back side, I didn't really like the visual and how it looked. So I thought I would do one more page, not necessary to the album, but a fun little addition of the Dove of the Holy Spirit in the Vatican, which is just in, just behind the uh, throne of St. Peter. Um, I was going to talk about that a little bit, but my photo is really, really, really not very good at all. So you can't really see the throne at all, but you can see this beautiful stained glass with the dove in the middle that they call the dove of the Holy Spirit. So I got all my circles done and I arranged them. So this is pretty much, pretty much a literal lift. Although if you look here, I, I sort of embellished maybe a little bit more around my circle because I got this lovely large sticker out from the uh, Gingham Foundry, <clears throat> excuse me, my mind's eye Gingham Foundry. And I put it there and I loved it. And then I popped that here and then it left a space that I really, really, really didn't like. So I just sort of filled it in with some extra little stickers. So I have a little bit more embellishing going on here, almost inadvertently, but I do like the way it came out. Some Gingham Foundry stickers here as well. Um, and here are some die cuts and stickers to just complete this little tiny little cluster down here. Vatican, August 05. And this I went into my stash. These were not put aside for my starting points, but I took the Happy Life, the sort of multicolored Happy Life, which I have trouble using. And so I'm glad I got it on this page. And the idea to do that really came from this lovely paper. And I think it, it, it just completes it and sort of complements it beautifully. And then the Vicky Booten, uh, puffies in this lovely, lovely teal. So I got that there as well. And this, of course, absolutely needs extra glue. So I got that all down on my page. I just need to do a little bit of journaling exactly about what I told you and maybe look for the exact date that I was there. So there you go. There is May I Scrap Lift You Saturday edition continuing on in June and beyond. Thank you so much for being with me. Make sure you pop on over and follow Dorothy if you don't already do. Thank you, Dorothy, for the inspiration. And of course, make sure you go over and see what Crystal has for you today. See you back here very soon, my friends. Thanks for being here. Bye for now.